Hello everyone back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use uh, developer products and make a webhook logging system when someone purchases it. So um, basically say you have a developer product for like to get plus 50 coins. Someone buys it. It'll say in your Discord server right here the person's name bought and then the product. So uh, let's get started. So if you go to the configure experience place page on your uh, game, you can go down to developer products and you can click create new and you give it a name so i'll just give it five robux donation and description honestly doesn't really matter because i don't think anyone actually sees it because i don't think you can see it so i'll just do like uh donate five robux and then price in robux make it five image file just select whatever image you want okay uh and then just click create and then right here will be the ID of the developer product. That's what you're going to use to prompt the purchase and stuff. So next you want to go into studio. And if you haven't already, you want to get my module, Webhook Service Heroku, and insert that and put it in server script service. And then insert a script. And it doesn't really matter how you prompt the developer product. Uh, like you can prompt it with a GUI. I'll show you how to do that. So let's just do this and name this store and disable reset on spawn. Now in this, we're just going to insert a text button. I'm not going to customize this at all. I'm just going to name this uh, plus five or no, wait, not plus five, donate five Robux, just like that. And then uh, inside of here, we want to put a local script and now we just want to do a couple lines local mps equals game get service marketplace service and then uh script up parent on mouse button click connect function then we want to do mps prompt product purchase player or game dot players dot local player and then your developer product id so now once they click the button it'll prompt them to buy the developer product so click it and you see, it says, would you like to buy a five Robux donation? Just like that. So if you buy it right now, nothing's going to happen because we haven't set up the webhook. So if you haven't seen my video on how to set this up, how to set up the proxy, uh, I'll leave the video link in the description. It's pretty simple. Just go ahead and set that up real quick and then come back to this. But we want to go to your Heroku page and then put your URL and access key. I'll go ahead and do that real quick. All right. So once you do that, that's your, uh, that's your proxy done. Now you just want to go into the server script and define some stuff. So you just want to do local uh, discord equals require script.webhook service, local URL equals, and then you want to go to your discord server, uh, go to server settings, integrations, and then copy your webhook like that. Now just put that in there. Now we just want to define marketplace service again. It's local MPS equals game get service marketplace service now we want to use prompt product purchase finished to uh you know send the uh the data so we know when like someone buys a developer product so just do mps uh, dot prompt product purchase finish connect function now user id and then product product id and then isp for is purchased now we don't want to do if ISP then. So basically this will be uh like if ISP, then that means they actually bought it and then it just like prompt it and then click cancel. Now we want to create the web request. So we'll do uh Discord create embed URL and then title is gonna be uh donation donation because that's basically where uh, the the uh the developer product was now we need a message so we'll just do uh we want to get the player from the user id so we can just do uh local player equals game dot players get player from get player by user id user id not user settings user id and then this will be our actual player object now for the message we can just put player dot name dot dot purchased 
and then uh, we want to get the name of the product they actually purchased. So we'll do um, marketplace service get product. Uh, I think it's a uh, get product info. Yeah, and then product ID, and then enum dot info type dot. Uh, I think it's product. Yeah, dot name. And then uh, you can add multiple fields if you want. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But let's go ahead and test it out. So you want to go ahead and click play. And then once it loads, donate five Robux, purchase it. And once you purchase it, it should send in Discord uh, that you bought it. Hold on. Okay, so it was like it was like really delayed for some reason. It shouldn't always do that. But as you can see, it's a donation. Snark purchased a uh, five Robux donation. Said it twice because I purchased it twice because I didn't think it actually worked. So um yeah so that's how um that's how you just do this you know this is a basic way to do it and now I'm gonna show you to add multiple fields. Now for my webhook service module, it has an option for fields that you can pass. So you just want to do local fields equals, and then open a you know a table like that and then put another two sets of brackets in there. And then open it and that's going to be your first field so fields have three you know arguments i guess you could say name value and inline name is basically the title of the field so name equals and then we'll do user id and then value equals player dot user id and then uh i'll do inline equals true you have to put a comma after all these or else it'll error and then, so now it's going to display as a separate field, their user ID. Now let's do product ID. So we'll do um, another, you know, field name equals product ID uh, value equals product ID, like the actual product ID object. And then inline equals true, just like that. Now, after this message, after the dot name, you should add comma and then do fields and just pass the fields like that. And then it'll send the fields after you purchase it. So just go ahead and load in, donate five Robux, purchase, click OK. Now it sends in here, you can see start purchase five Robux donation, user ID, and then it shows my user ID, product ID, and like that.